Hello and welcome to the Life Waves Practice. My name is Sarah Bainbridge and I'm passionate about helping you achieve total well-being in our modern world. And welcome to the final video in our series where we're looking at how to set better health goals, ambitions and resolutions. And in particular, the three biggest mistakes that people make when setting those resolutions and why they fail. So in this final video, we're looking at the third and final reason people fail or the mistakes that they make. And this one is all about planning. So I'm sure you've heard the phrase, uh, failing to plan is planning to fail. In other words, if you don't take directed action towards your goal, ambition or resolution, then nothing particularly is going to happen. So in previous videos, we've set our goal, made it really clear, got a really good vision of what it is that we want to achieve. We've looked at the obstacles and things that can stop us along the way. And by doing those two steps, raising your awareness as to what it is that you want to do and what may stop you from doing it, you can often find that things do start to move forward. However, the magic really happens when you take directed positive action towards achieving that goal. In other words, planning and doing stuff. Now, maybe for some of you, the moment I said that you had to plan and that you had to take action, your um, systems kicked in and it was like, oh, no, I can't do that because I don't know what to do. And this goal is really big and it's overwhelming and I'm going to have to do a lot. And that's another obstacle that's got in the way and that you're not going to progress. But think about this. There's a famous author that once said writing a book is like driving in the fog. So you know where your destination is, but actually you can only see 20 metres down the road. In other words, you can only see the next bit that you have to do. And sometimes planning and taking action towards our health goals is the same. So we have that big vision, that big goal. We know where we want to be. We know what can trip us up along the way. But actually knowing every single step along that way isn't possible and actually isn't necessary. All you need to do is to move that first 20 metres. In other words, take those first few steps. Often you find that once you do that, the next steps become visible, like driving in the fog. Once you've moved those 20 metres, you can see the next 20 metres. So the next steps become visible and you know what to do, and then the next and the next. And actually you can find that the more you move down the line, the clearer things become and the more things you can do and the quicker it all moves. So rather than simply not doing anything because knowing what to do just seems too much and you can't have all the detail there, just think about what your next steps are. So what can you do tomorrow to start to achieve that goal? So let's take an example. Maybe your goal was to eat more healthily. So what's the first thing that you could do? Something as simple as having one or two extra pieces of fruit, replacing one cup of coffee with a herbal tea or a glass of water can be enough. You are moving towards that healthy eating, but without it being overwhelming. Once you've done that for a couple of days, your confidence rises, things start to get better, you start to feel a little bit better and the next steps become more obvious and seem less overwhelming. So I hope you can see that you can start to take action without necessarily having a detailed plan. But key is take action. Do something. So just to recap over the last three uh, videos, we've looked at uh, setting a clear vision for your goal or your ambition or your resolution. What is it that you want to achieve? What does it look like? What does it feel like? What are you going to be able to do once you've achieved that? A really, really clear view of where you're heading. We've then looked at some of the obstacles and things that can get in our way. So these can be our thoughts and our views on things, or these can be actual, if you're looking at physical symptoms, they can be actual things that are causing those symptoms. And finally, in this video, we've looked at taking action. So I hope this has helped you and that next year you're going to be able to achieve that health goal that you want. If you feel you do want more of my personal help with regards to that, then as before, do apply for one of my three free 30 minute sessions. I want my health pack sessions. 
and I will talk you through in those 30 minutes exactly what we've been talking about on these videos. So we'll get a really clear goal, we'll find out what your, your own personal obstacles are and we'll develop a clear and achievable plan in order for you to get to where you want to be. So if you'd like my personal help then do book a session, the link's below the video and I look to forward to talking to you soon. So goodbye and happy goal setting. Bye.